It is raining. That's exactly what I was waiting for. There is not much water collected in the jar, but it has to do it. This water is desperately needed. Before I use the rainwater, I would like to see what's in it. I place the jar at an angle, so the particles gathered at the bottom are more concentrated. Would you like to see what's in a drop of rainwater? Let's find out. These flake-like things were probably pieces of dead insects. This was probably a leg of a fly. These are the kinds of particles that reflect the sunlight and paint our atmosphere blue. But this one is different than the others. If you pay attention to the corners of it, you will see it is repelling water. This piece is hydrophobic. I'm almost sure this shark was a part of a being of an insect. I switched to the dark condenser to get a better contrast but the dark condenser comes with a price. It is very close to the slide and the cover slip and heats the water sample between them. Everything moves and changes their shape and space. One last thing. I like microscopy because it is not always about magnifying things, but also how the light bends itself and makes things disappear in front of you. I'm going to use this water to save an ecosystem entitled to Gamata Dumara. The second season of microscopy videos at Bite Size Stories begins soon. Are you ready for it? <laughs>